Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Far out London. So, here we are once again. And let's actually, real quick, just switch over to the game. And uh, this time I did install the Load Accelerator mod, which uh, is very simple to do. So let's see if it actually helps. You can see in the bottom right corner here, there's like a little arrow and dashes going on, which means that the Load Accelerator is working. Let's see if it actually seems to increase the load times or what happens. I think last time it was taking around a minute or so for the... Wow, that really took anything. But then again, we're in a, uh, if you hang around, a house. You know, so it's not really, you, need the numbers. you know, that big of a deal here. How's my inventory? Ooh. In terms of weight. All the junk and stuff at the moment. Okay, well, let's hop outside. See how long it takes us to be outdoors now, shall we? Okay. I think if it only takes like 10 seconds, that's really nice, right? So, how quickly will it look? Really quick. God dang, that was quick. Okay. A little quicker than usual. That one here. So let's go ahead and we're just going to fast travel to Greenwich Station. And we're going to use our bag that's there to uh, apparently crash the game. Interesting. Try that again. Maybe it might not like fast traveling. If it's, you know, on the night, I just can't fast travel. That's fine. It doesn't matter. I don't think I've, I've ever I've, I've ever played a game of Fallout where I have had low intelligence and low perception. So I can't lockpick or hack anything. I may have done like a low intelligence roll before, but never a low lockpick and crazy. Now like a bunch of stuff is locked out me being able to do it. Hopefully one day we'll get uh, uh, a place that I can store stuff that is not like this. Just, I wish it was like a little bit brighter out, right? Like really, really dark. You know? Oh, is that where the hanging or whatever is gonna happen?
but I don't care about the boat right now. Let's do the main quest. Oh, dude, now. All right. anything yet. I'll well cook what I can, but I can eat some stuff. Also, I can trigger idiots in the bottom. I'm not used to getting such little experience. Usually my, uh, Intelligence is so much higher, and I can just straight up be like, yeah, I'm gonna level up like eight times before the game really starts getting into it. in Northern Hemisphere. I don't see anything, dude. Can't keep backing up and freaking. Okay, listen here. You guys. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, well. Probably took some damage from uh standing in the electrical. Am I supposed to be swimming through this, or like... What am, what am I doing here? Untick that. If I just look forward? I, 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 I literally cannot see anything. Is the problem here. Is there like a side door or something? Hold on, let me look at the local map. Can't tell if there's more this way or not. 
I go back this way and then open up the map. Oh, it's all caved in. Where the hell am I going? You told me to come in the door, right? anywhere else that I can go. I didn't need to go here? Or it was telling me to go in here. Twelve seconds. About how long it takes. Oh, I'm going to the island though. Okay. I don't know why I was like, yeah, it's, I'm going. Also, that uh, doesn't look like it's loaded in. It is so quiet. Need a little radio. Welcome to Crystal Palace Radio. I'm Artful Roger. And I'm Olivia Twist, playing those delightful classics from the other side of the pond. If you miss the swinging beats of days gone by, you are a piss like a as someone who's actually crawled through Fallout, I think this song is rather poignant. Sheldon Allman's next with Crawl Out Through the Fallout. Crawl out through the fallout, baby. I'll meet you when it's the coral, you bad blowing civilian. Crawl out through the fallout with the greatest of a clown. When your wife is getting hurt, her dad's too late. What? What even you kill me? I was still at like a high health, right? Hmm. Side. 
probably get close enough to like hit them, but. impact for the one I use. Lieutenant's hat. Don't tell me there's like just one room inside here. They're gonna make me really like do a loading screen for this. I didn't have to nut you, mate. You'd be below deck for months. What does that mean? Nut me? One shot in the stomach and I'm just dead? What did they shoot me with? Dig it, lads. 
scranning on civvy tonight, sailors. Are the Jack Tars cannibals? Looks like the storm's passing. Keep an eye out. There still may be choppy waters ahead. Run away! I said run away. Why am I walking? Why am I walking? What? Why did I start walking? Bro. Dig it, lads. We'll be scranning on Civvy tonight, sailors. The midshipman is the one who uh, one shots me, or they both do, I guess. Look, wherever they are, there looks like the storm's passing. Blakey, oh, you bastard! All guns blazing, lads. Stand down. What? Why is there another one here? Hold that thought. That was one shotting me. Here's the one guy that just came from back here. Let's save quick so I don't have to kill those guys again. Be back to quarters, lads. The yellow bastard is three shoots to the wind. Why would they live here? Especially with all the water on the floor. The feet are just like causing the flat power, they're not getting like treasure and stuff. Report to Khan. What's up? Get the wind. Oh. Should have been a stuff no, going anyway. Wow, is that the first actual real gun I've seen? Is that a... Is that an Enfield? I don't know. Ooh, looks so. Oh, that's the first, like, real gun we've gotten. That's not, like, a weird... Dang. Also, why is my... What the heck is my... I 
think I might hold on to that. Because it has flavor text for it, right? So maybe if I upgrade it, it can be a fun one. Only the end field is what I'm aware of. Or like this time period of weaponry. Yeah. Alright, well. I am not really sure how we get there. Across the end. Guess we would have to go all the way around that way. That's a bit of a trek, huh? Why don't we look in the quest? Let's get rid of that one. And then let's do... the upper area here. Do that by taking over the ship, which uh oh. Yeah, ain't no way. gun I've ever used in my life. Like, well, I guess I got why it has such a huge spread, but why in the world? What else do I have for weapons? Out of ammo. Do I have anything else that's like a longer range weapon, or is it all just a crude weapon? All just the crude one. Unless I can shoot it with this ball. Sea legs. Legs.
Can, but I miss. actually able of killing like instantly because they did like a thousand damage or something like that. It was like a crazy amount, like 150, I forgot exactly which is a crazy amount of fun. But still. <laughs> Yo, I can't shoot through the railing, come on now.
Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Who's there? You're lucky I didn't have to knock you, mate. You'd be below uh. deck for months. Hey, bud, come here. Enemy sighted. Get up here. Come at me, mate. What are you doing? Shot me in the arm. <coughs> this guy has three guns on him. why they were uh, having a hard time moving up to me. Scared? What is this? Okay, seriously? What in the hell? How do we get out of here?
Ça sent bien. Bon. Oh, some kind of like gas monster or something. Yeah, it's basically impossible to like navigate down underneath the boat area. That is. I don't know who on the design yeah. place and like tested it, but whoever it was, they should think again. at me or the rad shrew? Cool, I found some dog food for my dog food addiction. Night vision converted crude rifle. Huh. They're calling them crude rifles and stuff, pipe rifles. That is a huge needle. Also, I like the fact that there's voids in the uh, locker room. That's a, a very good touch right there. Yeah, I don't think we were gonna like make any progress if we continued on a survival dip, unfortunately. I think we would have just ended up finding the same area over and over again. You hear that? No. Got a bogey hanging around. You're a bogey. What the? Who? Are you? <laughs> Who indeed? Are you a coward, sir? Why did it do that? Fuck that, that's right by me. 
Yeah. Sir, can you not? Oh my god. Yeah. I'll make you kiss the power of you, I need to uh, put a little distance between me and the rest of the game. Okay, dog's dead. Unfortunately. Well, it attacked me, okay? Not like I want. Pocket or say you go those sea legs. I wouldn't have you as a bosun of a river barge. Are expired handle cigarettes, huh? Fuck yes. We've got work to do. That won't scrub itself. Tight. Let's show this beach powder out. Correct. All right. Thank God for that. I think once we get stronger and whatnot, we'll not have to rely so heavily on on vats to um. Damn, I can't take any of that. We won't have to rely on vats too much, you know. Kill stuff, but until we can do that, I think that's a good idea, right? All right, so let's see what else we got. It would be nice to get stealth up higher so we can actually start making the on people, but I don't know if it's worth wasting a point in here. And we could do stuff like Rooted or Big Leagues 2 to do even more damage. But you know what? Let's get Lady Killer. I know we haven't seen many ladies here yet, but it is a easy perk just to throw a point in right now. And then we don't have to level it up. It's just at its highest thing, and it gives us a flat 10% damage against enemies. Greg, bugger off his computer. Ev, stop. Please sign out of my profile before ordering your weird nudie mech. I don't want to see that. Unlocked door. Oh, so that was literally just... Uh, master locked door. I 
I'm stationed. I can make something here. Hyperoid. Oh no. Interesting. I mean, I might as well make it to get experience. There's no reason to not make molly. Why not make a couple of them? Right away. Make some stim packs. At least one, I guess. I don't really think I want to make syringer ammo, though. Hmm. How should I get for a caltrop? Why not? Anything to get a little bit of extra experience. I get two pages on set. I get that chest from behind the stairs. Cool if I could. Taking a skeleton. Oh, you don't even need to open that door. Man, the first level of stealth does nothing for you. I think we could find another cute Thulu here. Bear. Your more money is always nice because they are uh, worth money, but they don't weigh anything. that are all broken and have had their heads torn off. Ooh, a jangle. Or Bojo, the Mars monkey. I'll take that. Comics are not. So it looks like the good stuff is like down here. I'm just curious, so I'm going to go ahead and just lock this door. I'm not going to take anything, I just want to see... Wow. You know how disappointed I would have been if I would have tried to open up anything there and just had nothing be in there? I'm like, really? You're going to just... Mess with me. Behind a mas master lock, just nothing. Okay, well, we're gonna have to deal with these other guys.
You don't see me, right? Looks like the storm's passed. Keep an eye out. There still may be chubby waters ahead. Head. You hear that? Hmm. I move like a foot and like they just hear me. Here is just awful to like navigate that whole area. Sucks. Did I leave any loot on this guy? I did. I'm honestly surprised that the uh, the boat hasn't fallen down. Clipper is used to refer to a fast sailing ship with three masts and a square rig. The word comes from clip, meaning to move swiftly or at a fast pace, because the ship was designed and built for transport. E, it is known as a tea clipper. However, Betty Sark transported a wide range of goods during her time at the sea. Tea clippers are also known as China clippers, as they made the route between Europe and the East Indies. Betty Sark is the only one. Of the surviving team. Interesting. All that for the When Ferreira and company bought the Cuddy Sark in 1895, they renamed the ship Ferreria. The ship was renamed again in 1922 when Compania Nicolia de Novacchio bought it and they named it Maria do Ampio. Mario. The ownership was brief, however, and Captain Wilfred Dauman bought it back. Britain in 1922, restoring it and giving it its original name. A nice lesson there, I suppose. The sacks full of bones and boxes of pork. down here. Hmm. 
Alright, well, I guess it's time to head on out of here. accelerator really helped very very nicely oh man well ladies and gentlemen I think you now we've reached a good stopping point here uh, we managed to explore three new locations so far I think that's good for now I and mean, we can continue Going around and figuring stuff out. If we look at the map here, we can see. Why do these not say cleared? So we can check out the. Uh, one thing. That. I'm pretty sure we searched that. We can check out the old Naval College next. You know, if we want to. Kind of go around this area and. See if there's any way for us to cross over there. I don't think it'll actually help us get any further, but at least we can explore that part of the map in there. And we can kind of just search this whole area, get everything on the map as we head back downward that way. So, uh, also, why do some say cleared under? Like these don't. I clearly cleared them out, right? Like, they're cleared. But anyway, what I'm going to do at the moment, I believe, is drop some stuff off at our boot area. That way we can... Come back with a fresh inventory and not have to worry about any of that. Right? Good. So I'll work on doing that between episodes, and when we come back, I'll be near the, the college that we're exploring next time. Can I jump this? Oop! I think I may have gone. Nope, we're good. Right here. All right, everyone. Well, like I said, that'll wrap things up for us today. Next week, we'll continue exploring around London, having a grand old time of it. Till then, bye bye for now.